For 30-year-old Brent Nolan, coal mining is in the blood. Well, my father was a coal miner, my grandfather was a coal miner, and apart from that, the, uh, the financial reward was pretty good. Now he's packing up his mining gear after losing his job as a machine operator. I was coming off night shift and I was driving home and I just got a phone call saying that I'd been uh, made redundant, my services were no longer required. Brent Nolan's not alone. 21-year-old Matt Lightfoot, an electrical apprentice at a Rio Tinto mine, was made redundant last week. I just got called into a meeting out of the blue in the afternoon, walked in and was informed that my apprenticeship had been suspended. How, how did you feel when that happened? I was pretty shocked and uh, a bit disappointed, I'd say, that I wouldn't be able to continue in the mining industry, but. That's the times at the moment, so, yeah. The mining slowdown is gathering pace. In New South Wales alone, more than 4,000 coal mining jobs have gone. Supply is outstripping demand. And the price of coal moving through the nation's biggest port in Newcastle is tanking. For the first time in memory, big miner Glencore is shutting down over Christmas. We rely on the local businesses around here and if the mining is the one supporting and structuring those local businesses then we're going to have an effect on our trade and basically it's just going to have a, a negative impact on the area. Cessnock publican Des Ryan says people are spending less because of the downturn. They're looking for the cheaper options, they're really watching their money. Nearby shops have shut down as mine workers leave town and it's happening right through the Hunter. Mostly the downturn of the mines has really affected the employment. Um, about 30% of the uh, workforce in the mines in this area come from the Singleton area. Local councils are spending up on diversification. Singleton is not going to become a ghost town. Uh, you're not going to be able to shoot a shotgun up the main street. Uh, I think it'll come back. It always has. Matt Lightfoot is hopeful too. He wants to complete his apprenticeship. I've been in it the last two years, so I'll try and finish it if possible. Brent Nolan, though, has given up and is heading to Brisbane. And I'll enrol at university and undertake some studies there. Was yeah, was no real work out there to do. I may as well do some study. Skills needed for an economy in transition. Sue Lennon, ABC News. Okay, there you go.